Hi everyone and a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. There's a beautiful smell of pulled pork in the kitchen today. I'm doing pulled pork sliders and I'm gonna make these wonderful brioche style rolls. You'll often see these rolls served in top restaurants. They're beautiful gold and brown top to them. Now I'm gonna be making this by hand. You could do it by machine, but by using your hands, you'll get a better feel for how the dough should react. So come on, let's get on and make these slider rolls. <music> Now I've put 80 mils or a third of a cup of full cream milk and warmed it slightly in the microwave so it's just up to blood temperature. And although I'm using an instant yeast, I'm going to activate it in this warm milk. I've got two teaspoons of yeast and I've got two tablespoons of a caster sugar or super fine sugar. Just gonna give that a little stir through and then we'll set that aside in a warm area just so it starts to froth while we prepare our dough. Now I like to weigh my flour, so I've got 300 grams, that's about 10 and a half ounces of flour. It's approximately two cups. And it does have to be a strong bread flour. Now I've got a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, just pop that in there, and also three eggs. Just gonna break the eggs into the flour. And then hopefully by now your yeast has started to bubble a little bit. I'm just gonna pour that in there with the sugar and milk. Then I'm going to take my fork and start to mix this together and you are going to end up with quite a sticky dough. Now I don't like to start with my hands straight away in the dough because this is going to get messy enough as it is, but time now to draw that dough together. And if you're used to making bread, you are going to find this a very sticky dough, which is a great thing. Now I've got about another half a cup of flour, which I'm just going to pop down onto my surface. I'm going to draw that sticky dough out so use the heel of your hand just to stretch the dough out. This is a very rich dough, by the way. Now you'll see after five minutes, the dough is still a little bit grainy and quite sticky, but we've got to start introducing some butter into here. I've got 120 grams, that's about four ounces of lightly salted butter. And what I want to do is just take about a quarter of this and push it into my dough. Now this is gonna get sticky and messy, we're just gonna to continue to work this into the dough and add a little bit of butter at a time until we get all of this butter into this dough. Now when you look at that sticky, sticky dough, the last of the butter is going to go in there now. I've got a scraper here occasionally, I'm just gonna scrape down the surface, bring it all together. Got a little bit of flour left on the, on the work counter. And this is where I think using your hands really gives you some experience because you think it's not going to come together, but it does. Now you see that's been about eight minutes now. It's started to come away from the counter and we're getting a lovely stretch to this dough. It's even coming away from my hands. Now you see how beautiful and elastic that dough has become now. Now a good way of stretching this out is to slap it out onto the counter, fold it and turn it. Okay, so you can actually stretch the gluten but I'm getting close to it. It's been about 10 minutes now, and you can see there's a beautiful elasticity. Now that dough is ready. If you look at the tension on the surface of the dough, it springs back beautifully. I've got a glass bowl here. I'm just going to add a little bit of vegetable oil to the bottom of the bowl, pop my dough in there, coat it over. I'm going to cover this over with some cellophane wrap and leave it in a warm area until it's doubled in size, which could take about an hour, hour and a half, depending on your temperature. Now it's taken about an hour, but look at this. This has risen beautifully. I'm just gonna take the cover off of there. Just knock that down now. We'll take the air out and take it out onto a warm surface. Now I don't want particularly big slider rolls, so I'm gonna divide this up into 16. And you might want to weigh it to just get equal amounts. And then you take each of these little bits of dough and just cup your hand, roll them over like that until you get a lovely round ball. You want them nice and tight. There'll be a little knot underneath and that's the side that goes down on the baking tray. So I've got 16 perfect little slider rolls. Now we want to pop those somewhere for about half an hour, 45 minutes, somewhere warm, maybe covered with a little damp cloth until they've risen again. They're probably going to double in size before we pop them in the oven. Now take a look at those brioche rolls. They've risen beautifully. I'm just going to gently take the cellophane off of the top. Now I've just taken an egg and a little bit of full cream milk. I'm just going to whisk that together. Now in order to get a beautiful golden top, I want to brush this over. Now get your oven on now, 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit. Come back down here. We're just going to take a soft brush and very gently, I'm gonna brush some of that egg and milk wash over the top of each of these rolls. 
Now once I've egg washed them, I'm just gonna sprinkle a few white sesame seeds, and because I think it looks good, just a few black sesame seeds as well. Then we're gonna pop these in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. We want them to go a golden brown, so just keep an eye on them. Now when you look at those, they're a beautiful chestnut brown. They're perfect, we need to leave them on the side. You'll see over here, I've got the pulled pork. That's what these are going for. If you wanna see the pulled pork recipe, I'll leave it at the end of this video. Let's let these cool down and take a look at them. Now when you take a look at that, that's just about cooled down. It's still a little bit warm, but I want to show you just how beautiful they are inside. Might be a little bit of steam coming out of there. Look at the crumb in there. I mean, that is a delicious, soft, absolutely wonderful. These make just the best rolls for doing little burgers or as I'm doing with the pulled pork. Give this a try so you can see. Oh, it's buttery and just delicious. Please share the love, give this one a thumbs up and I will leave a link to the pulled pork where we use these slider rolls so you can get across and watch that as well. Be good, I'll see you next time. <music>